God would just in an instant forgive that kind of a debt. Because he sees this begging that this guy does, and he sees that it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. In fact, when we think about our own state in front of God, we often adopt this kind of mentality where we just say, God, just give me enough time and I'll fix my problems. The way that I tend to do this is I tend to buy a book for every problem that I have. Do any of you do this? Uh, any of you book people out there where your office is just filled with books, right? If you go into my office here at the church, it's just filled with books, and that's because I've got a lot of problems. And every time, and I'm obviously just partially joking about that, but it's like something comes up, and it's like, I'll go find who's like the best-selling author on that thing. I'll become an expert on that thing. And if I know enough information, eventually it's going to change me and I'll be fixed and, and then we're all good. And then God, you don't have to do anything because I'm, I'm taking care of it. And, and just think about that mentality. Like processing information, gathering information, it's not a bad thing. But God looks at it and he just sees like, you have no idea how much debt you're in, do you? You think you can just fix it on your own? You think you can just read another story? This parable is telling us that we could have all the time in the world, we could have all the knowledge in the world, but our repeated issues that keep coming up again and again and again in our life, they're not going to be fixed in that way. Our indebtedness towards God can't be fixed by some sort of like more effort or by reading some new research about whatever problem it is. Because what's behind that sort of a mentality, the fix myself mentality, is actually just pride. It's actually just pride. It's just I'm going to pull up my bootstraps. I'm going to solve the problem on my own. And so the master here sees through the ridiculousness of this guy's heart. He sees through it and he takes pity on him when we think we can solve our problems, we need the actual master. We don't need another quick fix solution. We need the master himself. What kind of a person would forgive us in an instant? Only God. And that's who we actually need 